Alright guys, today we're doing the Hardy Weinberg Lab and you'll notice that there's a chart on your sheet that you have. Um, now, I've modified this a little bit because I did not like the original version of this, but here's the Hardy Weinberg Lab. Some of y'all may be doing this uh, Teddy Graham version. And so, basically I kind of drew it out real quick up here so you can see what we're doing. So today's lab, um, we're going to start out in the first generation with seven happy bears and three sad bears. Sad bears are the dominant trait. So you don't know if they're heterozygous or homozygous for sad. Happy bears is the recessive trait, and we know that that's a homozygous recessive. So out of the five things up here in generation one, really the only thing that we're going to know is Q squared because we know the number of happy bears, which is the recessive trait, which is going to be that Q squared value. Okay. Now, from the Q squared value, then you can find, really it should be uh, 0.7 since that's 70% of our bears are happy. And so from there, you can find Q, P, and then P squared and 2PQ, okay? And so the way that we're going to do this lab today is we're going to start out with seven happy bears, three sad bears. Every generation, there's going to be, you're going to eat three bears. You're going to try to eat three happy bears, okay? If there's happy bears, you're going to eat three. Um, if there's not, you'll eat as many happy bears as you can and make up the difference in sad bears. And so for the reason for that is happy bears are, they are sweet and they are slow. And so they taste good and they are slow and they're easy to catch. So they're the ones that you get preyed upon first, okay? The sad bears are sassy and they are fast and they're, they're a little bit bitter. And so um, they're the ones that you don't want to prey upon if you don't have to. So we're gonna see how over the course of four generations, the allele frequency changes as this natural selection takes place on these happy bears, okay? So what you're gonna do each time, you're gonna eat three happy bears, if there's three available, if not, make up the difference in sad bears. Then you're gonna pick one, to replace those three that were eaten, you're gonna pick one random bear out of the box without looking. And then, so for the seven bears that were left, you need to look and see if there's a, the two that you replace, um, the other two that get replaced are gonna be representative of the population you have left. So if you have about half sad and half happy bears, then get one of each and put back in for that next generation. If you've got mostly like the m large majority sad or the large majority happy, then get two of those and get zero of the other, okay? And so each time you'll wind up back with 10, you'll pray with, you'll eat three, and then you'll go back again. Okay, does that make sense? But you're trying to each time eat three happy bears if three are available, okay? And then you'll work through, and we're gonna see how this allele frequency changes over time as that happy bear or weak trait um, gets preyed upon more than the sad bear trait, okay? So, good luck. <laughs> 